Hey guys, welcome back to OSO Trading, where we simplify options trading for you. If you're looking to learn a new skill set or expand your trading knowledge, you've come to the right place. This video marks episode three of the Options Trading for Beginners series. Today, I'll be covering how to get started with options trading. Before we get started, let me give you a quick overview of what we'll cover. We're gonna talk about choosing the right brokerage, the basic requirements for setting up a brokerage account, trading account size, and initial setup and platform familiarization. And as always, if you guys find this content helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I have a whole lot more valuable content on the way and you wouldn't want to miss it. All right, let's dive into the first topic, choosing the right brokerage. Selecting a brokerage that offers options trading is a critical step in starting your trading journey. The right brokerage can provide you with the tools and resources necessary for successful trading. Look for a platform that provides trading tools, educational resources, and competitive fees. Each brokerage has its own strengths, so it's important to choose one that aligns with your trading style and needs. Some popular brokerages include Charles Schwab, E-Trade, Fidelity, and Robinhood. Each of these platforms offers different features, so like I said, compare their tools, fees, and user reviews so you can find the best one that suits your trading needs. Charles Schwab recently acquired TD and TD Ameritrade's Spanker Swim platform, which is known for its advanced trading tools and comprehensive educational resources. E-Trade offers a user-friendly interface and a strong customer support, while Robinhood is popular for its commission-free trades and it's easy to use mobile app. Next, let's look at some of the basic requirements for setting up a brokerage account. There are a few standard requirements you'll need to meet to set up your account. You'll need your personal information, uh, full name, address, date of birth, and social security number. You're also gonna need some financial information, your annual income, net worth, and employment details. Then you're gonna make sure you have your bank account information, bank account number, router number, you know, what you're gonna to use to fund your trading account. Additionally, you might be asked to verify your identity by uploading a copy of your ID or utility bill. This step ensures the security of your account and compliance with the regulatory requirements. Decide how much money to start with is an important consideration. It's important to start with the amount that you are comfortable with and can afford to lose as options trading carries risk. I recommend starting with a smaller amount such as $1,000 to $5,000, especially if you're new to trading. This allows you to gain experience and build confidence without risking too much capital. Even if you have more, let's say you have $25,000 or $50,000 or even $100,000 to start off in an account, I still recommend starting small. You want to make sure you consider your financial goals, your risk tolerance, and the complexity of the strategies that you plan on using. It is also wise to keep some funds in reserve so you can take advantage of future opportunities or cover potential losses. Also, if you guys are finding this content helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's move on to the initial setup and platform familiarization. Once your account is funded, it's crucial to familiarize yourself with the trading platform. Most brokerages offer demo accounts or tutorials to help you learn how to place trades, read options, and use analytical tools. Spend time exploring the platform's features such as charting tools, risk management settings, and order types. I prefer to use the Thank and Swim mobile platform from Charles Schwab. I cover my exact setup in another video. Understanding how to use these tools effectively will enhance your trading experience and help you make informed decisions. Spend time on looking at the broker's charting tools. These tools are going to help you analyze price movements and identify trends. You also want to look at the risk management settings, tools like stop loss orders. They're going to help you manage risk and protect your capital. Then you want to also know the order types. You're going to understand the different order types such as market orders, limit orders, and stop orders to execute your trades effectively. Setting up a brokerage account 
deciding your trading account size and familiarizing yourself with the trading platform are foundational steps in your options trading journey. By carefully choosing a brokerage, meeting the basic requirements, and starting with an appropriate account size, you can set yourself up for success. Take your time to learn the platform and practice with a demo account before diving into real trades. This preparation will give you the confidence and the skills you need to be successful. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that icon bell to get notified about my latest content. Feel free to ask any questions. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Happy trading. Peace.